Alright, welcome back to my channel guys and today we are going to be talking about something super exciting and that is the Chinese new hell event. So this hell event is kind of water based themed. There is one suit that hasn't like they haven't posted the HD photos of it yet so I won't be showing it but it's a suit that I feel like doesn't kind of match the theme like everything else has water in it or water associated but for this little girl over here with the teddy bear I'm not entirely sure why she's part of this theme but you know what when it comes we'll see why. Otherwise there is the first suit you saw over there. It honestly gave me some retro futuristic vibes and that that's like a theme you see here quite a bit so there's that girl and then we also have this one so she is this beautiful mermaid queen but the problem with her is that she doesn't have a pose where she has mermaid legs and that's frustrating because she literally has like three mermaids circling around her so where are her mermaid tails anyways our last event suit over here this is kind of like the cyberpunk steampunk type of aesthetic i'm not sure if i'm using the term right there is also one more feature of this hell event and there is going to be a 2d suit so i'll show you the 2d suit after and you can make your own judgments as to whether you think she is worth it or not but without further ado let's zoom in onto one of the suits. So first up we have our mermaid queen and I think she looks stunning. She has a lyre on top of her chest. It could be weird but she also looks kind of elegant with it and I also love her fishy earrings. It's just a shame that they would rather put fish on her earrings than on her actual feet. I found that the unposed version reminded me of one suit that we are all familiar with and that is from Calum and Ocean. So this suit is the rippling silk that we have on the left over here and I think both of them look so similar in terms of like the style of it. This one looks like it's the evolved version or like the epic version of the rippling silk suit. Overall I think she is gorgeous like I love the light tint blue on her hair and I love her makeup a lot. I know the makeup looks a little similar to all of our other blue makeups but I don't know every time I see like a really pretty love Nikki makeup even though it's similar to other makeups I still find myself liking it a lot. So moving on to the posed version you can see that there are beautiful mermaids that are surrounding her and all of them have magnificent tails unfortunately she is the only one without a tail oh there's actually four my bad there's four mermaids and she could have been the fifth one but they said no this is the background item and holy crap it's so extravagant like it's ginormous it's like a giant clam and it's like a fountain chair type of thing and I feel like the aerial suit would work so well with this outfit and it's just like a shame like give us a tail guys why is it so hard to give us a tail tail aside though I think that this outfit is still beautiful in terms of the aesthetics of it it could be like a siren type of suit because if you look at the background over here you can see a ship coming and if this is a siren they can try shipwrecking this ship they can try shipwrecking it. But yeah, I think that this suit is gorgeous and I would love to get it. As for the next suit, this is the suit where I was kind of like iffy in terms of what to call it because I think that the cape behind it, it's really cool. There's like a galaxy behind it. There's like a futuristic aspect to her and I also really, really love her dyed hair. But if we look at the makeup, doesn't it remind you of the makeup from Backlit Cord? I'm not saying that it's an entire copy because they do have different eye things that are happening inside of their eyes but the one for this hell event it's just so crystal blue it's so beautiful like the whole world is in her eyes and I also love that little teeth thing that's going on she has like a little snaggle tooth or like a fang and it just gives her like that mischievous look I really like how there is like a pink tint hair that's surrounding her face because it's just so cute she is a space or like a voyager she has this really cool blimp like structure in the back and I also love how the galaxy features are also on the wings and it's also on the top and the horn actually it looks like a narwhal if anything but yeah I think it's beautiful if you look kind of closer I'm wondering if it's just the details on the actual blimp like structure itself or if it's actually kind of modeled after a map but that's just really cool since she's a voyager anyways so this is also a huge background item it's like a fun adventure space like type of theme but if anybody can tell me what type of like specific aesthetic this is I would love to hear it below and here is her unposed, so her cape actually just blows me away. I would just love the suit for the cape, for the makeup. Um, otherwise, I'm not really into this type of style, but I do like how it looks like her dress is kind of burnt off. You know, back in middle school when you're trying to make like really old creative projects, you would kind of teabag the pages and then you'd burn the edges of it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this feel and I, I like it. She's like the captain of her boat and I respect that a lot. And this is her background. I think that it's really pretty. 
I like how this background kind of warps into this circular shape and the moon is beautiful, the stars are beautiful, everything is beautiful so there's not much for me to criticize. As for this one, this one kind of reminds me of a pinup girl because her makeup kind of has a seducing type of look and even though she looks super like futuristic, she has this retro vibe to her and I have no idea why I feel that way. Um, I love how there is like ice cubes that are floating out of her. She looks like the perfect summer outfit. I love her actual pose itself because it kind of reminds me of Cerise's gift box and I don't have that suit but I would love to. All in all, like this is such a fun suit and she looks like she's enveloped in sea foam. This is her unposed and I love 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 her dress. Like I said before, it looks like there's sea foam around her if not just like waves splashing up to her. The colors that are used here are very vibrant, bright and colorful and it's just like very pleasing to the eyes. Even even though the details are a little bit lost, I still find myself appreciating it a lot. Let me know what you guys think about the suit. Isn't there this type of retro feel to it? Maybe it's her hairstyle, maybe it's her makeup. I'm not too sure, but I still dig it. Like, it's such a unique suit. And she has a huge chair with a starry cushion, which is adorable! And she has a whale in the back, and even her like life tube or the... the you know that tube you kind of ride on when you're in the pool? Like her pool tube. It looks like a candy cane, so I thought that that was like a really nice touch. And the last suit, like I just have the video of it. They haven't posted the HD photos of it yet, but it looks like every other yellow suit we've had recently, especially from the previous hell event, Feathery Dream. I don't know, I, I just don't see how she fits onto this. I'm not saying I don't love her pose or her teddy bears or her teddy ears because they're adorable, but I'm just saying like, how does it fit into this hell event? Anyways, to move on to the very last suit, it is our 2D suit. So this is kind of like the Mad Hatter or like the Rabbit or the Alice in Wonderland type of outfit. I personally don't really like it because it's kind of messy. I'm not a fan of it. I don't see myself using the parts a lot. So that's actually good news to me because usually the 2D suit is the most expensive part of the Hell event, making it anywhere to 20,000 diamonds. So kind of happy about that and I don't feel bad about not getting it. So what are your thoughts? Do you like the new Hell event? It kind of just puts the Hell event that we're waiting for. It just makes it look so lame, even though it's not. Like all Hell events are beautiful on their own, but when you just compare them to newer stuff, it's just disappointing that we don't have it yet. But I guess it comes with being a newer server, right? I personally really like at least three out of the four of the outfits. I'm not really feeling the teddy bear girl, but otherwise I would love to participate in this event. Like I would love to spend all my diamonds on it and just have fun with it. Let me know what your favorite suit is below. I think my favorite suit, like if I had to choose, it might be the retro ice cube girl because she's so different from everybody else. But yeah, if you like this type of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate that a lot and I'll catch y'all later.